Hey guys, so this will be a Navisworks search sets categories. So it's kind of like an, the other video I did about search sets, except for we're just looking real briefly at a categories search set. And uh, what's neat is we have every category that uh, that you would find, almost every category that you would find in Revit created as a search set and we'll kind of take a look at that and how to import that and also how to export that out as well so that you could use it on other projects uh things like that and the example i don't too much go into uh in this video but the example i had was that somebody was clashing some architectural stuff and they were picking up a bunch of you know non-clashes like walls Stuff like that, uh, just duct going through walls, things like uh, like that that aren't necessarily a clash, at least for what we were doing. So using search sets, we can selectively choose you know those architectural elements that we want to clash against. So a bit about it, uh, to turn on the sets window, you have to go to the view tab, and then over here... Um, the windows button and then you can find that sets button you can turn it on from there and then how to import so you'll find if you go below in the description I have the OneDrive sh uh, shared folder and you'll find you know it should it should match the name of the YouTube video you go to that folder and you'll find this XML in there so in this here we're importing that set underscore categories XML file and it pulls in what you see here. How to import it is right here in that sets dialog box or window. And the cool thing is, is you can use it in your project uh, tree or selection tree. Uh, so you can select different elements that way. Uh, but you can also use it within your clash detective uh, window as well. So you can go down to, so if you start, you create a test, you can go down to, to selection A and then click key on this drop down. And by default, it's standard, but then you have compact properties. And as soon as you add a set, a search set or, or a manual, manual selected set, then um, you'll have this option to choose that. And it kind of looks like this afterwards. So we, we switch to sets, we have categories, and then all the different categories that we can now choose from that we can use to clash against overall buildings and whatnot. So I'm going to close PowerPoint. And we'll kind of take a look at it. So I'm in 2019 Navisworks, but um, you know, you can use whatever, it, it should be fine. It shouldn't have any issues importing it. Um, I think. I think the XML is from a 2018 export, so it imports into 2019 fine, 2018 fine. It might have issues with 2017. I'm not sure. I haven't tested that. Um, the way that I've created this model is I simply opened up Navisworks and appended the sample Revit models. I didn't go in there and create those NWCs. You can see here it says RVT file, but it did... It should have created those NWCs in here, so you can see that they're created now. Um, and you'll have all those, so you can append those and take a look at this as well. So here, we'll go up to Import, and uh, we get a couple options. We can import PDS display sets. I haven't messed with those much. And we can export out ser uh, search sets. So here, we're going to import search sets. We're going to grab that one for categories. We're going to open it. We're going to... Uh, now see this folder here and then we can drop this folder and then select a variety of different categories so one of the things is walls so we can select walls you can see that they highlight over here and they also highlight over here in the selection tree um, if we go up to uh, let's grab air terminals all the way down to furniture and you can kind of see it highlights uh, it picked up curtain panels and conduits and doors and and so on pretty much but you can see how you can you know uh, create a unique instance uh, uh, for clash 
you know, grabbing select items. So you can, you know, customize this in a variety of different ways. And real briefly, I just want to show you kind of what one of these look like uh, from, you know, the back end on how to actually create that search set. So if we go to the home tab, we can open up find items. You can also jump back to your view tab and then go into windows and then set or uh, you'll find uh, find items in there as well. So it's right here. So with that open, you can see it selects all the models and then uh, it kind of looks at them and tries to find uh, the element, uh, the property equals category, and then the condition is equals to value of air terminals. And that's how it's filtering it down to grab those specific elements. So it's pretty straightforward and that's kind of how they all are set up. And if you want to set these up yourself uh, all you would have to do is click on an element go into uh, go to your I think home tab and then over here you'll find properties and then we'll expand that window and when you have those elements selected you can then find out what their category is so First, let's go up here and change this from layer to object, then select it, and then you can see that we get uh, more properties that we can uh, work with. If we switch over to element, we can see there's a, a variety of uh, properties that we can use to select items. And for this example, we're using, or for the examples over here, we're using the category. So it's element category equals roofs and we can come down here and see if we actually select roofs if it'll work it should should select the same thing that's already selected so we'll come down here select roofs and we can see that it selects it so pretty straightforward and easy uh, the cool thing is is these are already set up so feel free to take them expand on them add what you want uh, I'd love to uh, hear some use cases if you if you do plan on using it and, and i appreciate you taking the time to watch this thanks a lot comment share like uh and uh i'll see you in the next video